of research writing these are the things that you should understand first is analytical research i showed you one example of this that uh, you just talk about one particular thing in this and you do not talk about any uh, conclusions you just talk about information you just giving information about particular topic then there is persuasive research paper or maybe argumentative research paper also it is named as argumentative research paper here you are you have given a thesis and now you are giving evidence to your thesis so you are just persuasing persuasing a person to understand your point of view then there is definition paper again definition paper is more like analytical paper here you are just introducing the topic and giving information about it that is definition paper compare and contrast uh, about compare and contrast a topic can be the um, let's suppose i'm giving a very very small basic topic the compare and contrast topic can related to uh, the let's say sex education rate in india and in other parts of the country sorry world so that is compare and contrast paper where you are talking about a topic and you are presenting the data that where what rate is there and what rate is here and why that is compare and contrast paper then there can be cause and effect this i will give you very easy example just like global warming you are writing about something naturistic and you are giving the causes and the effects what is happening exactly so again compare and contrast causes and effect they are all analytical they are the part of this then we have interpretative paper it is also called qualitative paper now in this you have a situation already going on like people's behavior you just understand that from where it is coming for example if you know in india there are so many stereotypes right even we have our own stereotype as a uh, as a family person okay so from where it is coming like sometimes we are told not to uh, cut our nails on some specific days now where it is coming from why people following this thing and why do they believe that on this particular day we should not cut the nails that is interpretative paper you are just interpreting the things where it is coming from so again analytical one you are analyzing a situation based on people's belief history and the process that is still running lastly experimental research paper this is the one which needs money because you have to conduct an experiment for that like i told uh, one of my students she was she conducted experiment on pregnant women and it was 9 to 11 month long experiment that she conducted so that is experimental research paper i don't remember what she was looking for but she conducted some experiment again experimental one also goes in analytical one because you are again giving your thesis and you are just telling that what happened what did you do why did it happen and what outcomes you have come up you have came up with these are different types of paper and i don't think so i should read everything did you understand all these types okay there is survey research paper as well this is experimental as well means it is a part of experimental research paper because it needs surveyed question like you did some experiment on social basis for example you were finding out that how many people use uh, instagram for how many hours in a day and you asked almost like 10000 people about it and then you came up with a conclusion or the analytics that is survey research paper another part of experiment okay now there is a question what is research paper and what is research writing so it is almost similar see for writing anything you will research and when you are writing while you are researching you are 
pointing out everything you are uh, writing or memorizing thing to you know like taking notes you are taking notes that is research writing and when you are actually putting it as a paper that is your research paper so it is interconnected it is not something that is uh, dissimilar these are similar 